how did you dream up the party disco moves? Hey, what are the disco moves? So I was in the toy store and I saw the magnet and you figured out that you could make the putty dance on the I got you. Oh my gosh, I wish I had. Oh, I have some magnetic putty. And this is not a production putty. This was like a, um, you know, something I was fiddling around with, but it is magnetic. Um, it's a little shinier than our regular magnetic. But yeah. I hope I'm giving away any putty secrets, right? Um, <laughs> but I have my magnet here. And so, as you can see, it holds. And then we can go against gravity. And now, right now, I'm dancing. I'm doing the disco moves. I've never heard them called disco moves before, but I get it. I totally see it, right? <laughs> so we are just creating and inventing right now. So how did, I, how did I do this? Well, once I was able to make the putty magnetic, I just went back to that free association and playing around and just just getting my hands on it and not trying not to have preconceived ideas of what I should do and just let it happen. Um, and the other way to invent in that way is just to give it to a kid, right? Because kids don't have preconceived ideas and they'll just try anything. And usually if just watching them play, they may not do the thing, but they'll give you that angle, that idea. It's like that different way of thinking for you to say, oh, wait, give me that back. I'm going to try something. And then yeah. you have it. What yeah. makes the putty magnetic? I'm just curious. Sure. Uh, well, it, our putty actually has millions of microscopic magnets inside. And then the fluid is designed in a way that it holds them all in position. So they don't, because they'll want to attract to each other. And we don't want that, right? We want them to stay throughout the whole material. But at the same time, it allows them to move and pivot their magnetic field so that they'll respond to the magnet and take the putty along with them. It's a bit of a trick, but it works. Mm, that's cool. I wouldn't even go as far to say it's mind blowing. Cool. I mean, I remember seeing one that he could take it and it would it actually would twist in a twirl. Yeah, we could do, that the, do the twist. So the way you do the twist is you take it and now we're gonna line up the magnetic field. So all of those microscopic magnets are now facing the south pole of this magnet. So they are aligned north, because north attracts the south. And then I'm going to rotate the magnet and I flip it upside down. And now I can twist and then I can untwist. <laughs> That's cool. How'd you come up with that? One day I was standing around demonstrating the magnetic potty and I just did it. And then I realized it would work. Okay. It just happened.